So I've watched a couple of videos recently where some other online content creators have discussed how they go about organizing their media. I'll link them below if you're interested, but it got me to thinking about why I never keep any of the raw footage for my YouTube channel. So that's exactly what this video is gonna be about. Now, let me just add a little disclaimer right at the top here to say that what I'm about to show you in terms of how I organize my media is not necessarily applicable as to how I would organize my media if I was working with external clients. But with that said, let's talk about why I never keep any of my footage. So when I've finished exporting, uploading and publishing a YouTube video, I don't delete the raw media files straight away. I generally let them sit there for about one to two weeks depending on the video. And that's just in case somewhere down the track, something has gone wrong in the video that I didn't originally pick up on. Perhaps it's something that you guys have pointed out to me in the comments. And that means I can go back to the original edit, fix it up, re-export and re-upload. So far at this stage, it's never actually happened. And whilst I'm on only a one video a week schedule, it'll probably never happen, but you never know. Now, after a week or two of a video being published and I'm pretty confident that there's nothing significantly wrong with it, then I go ahead and delete every single raw video file. Why? Well, there are three main reasons. One, to save on storage space. Two, to avoid laziness. And three, I just don't think it's necessary at all. Let me explain why. So the first reason is fairly self-explanatory. Depending on the project, the total size of footage media can get up to anywhere between 50 to 100 gigabytes in size per YouTube video, give or take. That's massive. If I was to keep all of this media, then it would take me roughly 10 YouTube videos to fill up a single terabyte hard drive. And therefore it would take me roughly a year of making YouTube videos to fill up five one terabyte hard drives. And this doesn't even include backing up all of this media and creating redundancy and fail safe hard drives and all that other nonsense. Sure, taking a quick look at eBay or Amazon right now and a single terabyte hard drive is only gonna set me back around 50 bucks. But if you add that up across an entire year and then you add a few more years onto that and then you add some redundancy and backup drives, then that actually amounts to quite a significant cost. Money that I think could be much better spent elsewhere, or at least that's what I think. And that leads me to reason number two, to avoid laziness. I remember quite some time ago, I held onto some footage that I filmed for a particular YouTube video because I was super chuffed at what I thought was some super high quality footage. When I did end up getting to a point where I was considering using it for a new video, I went back through all the old footage and I thought to myself, I can film this better. And that really was the day that I first decided to never keep any of my raw footage. Sure, I can keep my old footage and perhaps it'll make me a little bit more efficient for one or two future videos, but in reality, isn't it also making me a little lazy? I believe my filmmaking ability gets better with each and every video that I make. I don't think anyone would disagree with that sentiment, but for me to go back and use old footage is sort of depriving myself of filmmaking opportunities that are designed to make me better at my craft. And in reality, it's really not that hard to refilm a shot of a phone or something else. And by the time I've sifted through an old hard drive to find a particular piece of footage that I'm after, I probably could get pretty close to setting up a new shot and filming an improved updated version. And then finally, reason number three, I just don't think keeping old footage is at all necessary. I export all of my final videos in a compressed yet high quality codec ready for web. And I also keep all of my final exports backed up on a hard drive. So if there was ever a time I desperately needed some old footage for one reason or another, then I could actually just use the exported video files. And because all of my content is going back onto the web, then the quality is going to be more than fine. Sure, it has all of the color grade and aspect ratio information baked in. So there is less flexibility there, I do admit. But I doubt if I'm that desperate to incorporate old footage that I'll be complaining about not being able to adjust a color grade. In saying this, one fail safe that I have put in place for good order's sake is that I actually never delete any of my raw audio files. This is because not only do the exported videos have all the color grade information baked in, but they also have the music baked in as well. So keeping all the raw audio files, which are megabytes in size, as opposed to gigabytes, means I can come back at any point and access the original audio without the music and I'm good to go. So that's why I never keep any of my raw footage. And it's why I genuinely believe that in the context of YouTube video creation, I don't think you need to either. Do you agree with me or do you think I'm crazy? Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And if you do hold on to your raw footage, let me know why. I'm always open to being convinced otherwise. But that is it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll catch you later.